Ah. There we go. Getting right on into it. This is going to be game number one between Junebug rocking the Diddy Kong, Hyper Flame rocking the Lucas. Loser semis. Yes, loser That's semis for sure. These guys don't actually play that much. No, so MDBA is actually a very large region, and Junebug is from a uh, very uh, central Virginia, and Hyper Flame is, of course, from northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. And because of that, Junebug doesn't get a chance to go to Xanadu that much, while Hyper Flame does. Okay. However, they did play at Smash and Splash 2, where Hyper Flame was able to eliminate Junebug, and Junebug came in 17th. It's literally his worst PM wow. placing in his entire career as a PM player, and Hyper Flame was the one that did it to him. But right now, it looks like Junebug really prepared for this matchup so far. Yeah, so this is... um. Lucas and Diddy, these are both really quick, movement-heavy characters. Uh, Diddy, of course, has that banana. He's able to uh, get a lot more movement options with it because of Project M's item mechanics. You can cancel rolls or air dodges into an item toss. Absolutely, and you're going to see a lot of that from Junebug, especially when he throws that, when he shoots that peanut, it's possible to catch it and throw it immediately. So he's going to shoot a peanut and then toss it immediately after and get really fast chucks with those peanuts. As you see now, Junebug has been doing an insane job of edge guarding Hyper Flame, and there he gets another stock. So right now he's up a full two stocks. And the key so far is he's not letting Hyper Flame hit him. That's the big difference here. Both of these characters incredibly easy to combo. They're semi fast fallers. One hit from either of them should be death. So the fact that Junebug is doing a great job just winning the neutral game over and over is helping him stay alive and get this huge lead. He gets another grab right here. So I want to just talk about for anyone new watching this, because it's Evo. Uh, Diddy obviously is a really quick dash dance based character. Dash dance in the grab, kind of like Sheik S, Sheik Marthy. However, he's got really quick aerials, really great banana cover space for him. Yeah, it's it's his normals that really make the difference for him. Oh, and that Ooh, could be a stock. That is he so messes cool. up. Yeah, he has very strong aerials and, and very big aerials is the big difference here. I believe I believe all of his aerials can auto cancel out of a short hop. Or Probably. Most of them. I know all or like a majority of them auto cancel out of Yeah, you're not going to see him auto cancel them very much. He's going to do a lot of shuffled aerials as okay. we see a great finisher from Hyper Flame gets that up smash. And uh, Lucas is just so crazy. He's got that uh, that magnet, that blue orb. He can jump out of it. It's got a lot of hitboxes. Great shield pressure move. Yeah, so the interesting thing about that magnet is um, after the initial hitbox, it doesn't really have a lot of hits done. It's just really? something you can you know jump out of. And, and fight him inside. But the real key to the hitbox is when you see him wave dash back. That's okay. when the hitbox of Lucas's magnet comes out. As you see, you wave dash back right there and it floored Junebug. That's what knocks you straight up and above Hyper Flame is this when he ends the hitbox. So that's why you'll see him throw it out and wave dash and look for combos out of it. But then there's a mix up where he just runs up and puts the magnet on someone's shield, not telling you when he's going to end it. And a fatal error there from Junebug is he's going to throw away that sock. It's not one sock a piece. Now, this is evened up incredibly quickly. And Hyper Flame gets a good hit. He's done a nice combo there, but he goes for a grab. You don't see that very often. Due to the fact that Lucas's grab tether is pretty terrible. And he tried to be a little fancy there. Go for the instant up B. Ooh. So right now, both of them are going to... Well, Diddy is going to have a little bit of trouble confirming into a kill at this percent. Is that true? Off the um, throw or whatever? Well, he can get a couple things. It depends on DI as okay. well. He can get a down throw to fair if Hyper Flame DIs it poorly, but you're never going to see Hyper Flame miss that DI. And a bad hey! DI on the S match. Hyper Flame takes game one. Junebug laughs it off like, whoops. So, you know, even though these guys are from the same region, they barely play, so there is still that fierce Absolutely. rivalry. They're not... Yeah, this isn't like they know each other in and right. out. They play enough. So that, you know, they know a little bit about each other's style. But it's it's not like they, they can, you know, hard read something that you haven't seen all set. They they have to still adapt to each other. Okay. And I'd also like to point out, Hyper Flame does play a lot against Bacon Pancakes. And Bacon Pancakes oh, yeah. does have a Diddy Kong, so he knows the matchup. Okay. Uh, but, of course, Junebug just kind of good against everybody. Right, and, you know, there's not really any, too many other Lucases and the level of Hyper Flame. Not at all. He's far and away the best. Like, you see him really just use his character's toolkit. <gasps> he misses oh, up! No! I don't know what it's he meant. He had to jump off the stage. He, had, he was trying to do this um, this foot. Like I think he was trying to do a footstool. No, he was almost certainly trying to footstool. Yeah, and he just went for this back air. It's just uh, so unfortunate. And now Junebug baiting out that grab, looking to again extend this lead like he did in game one. Oh my god, I in can't believe that barrel didn't game? kill him. We'll take how it. Do we'll take how it. do Diddy's barrels work? Um, <laughs> uh, so Diddy gets hit, his barrels fly, and they hit okay. people. Okay, okay, okay. 
So if he gets hit out of a B, they... Okay. Interesting. When these two play... So, Hyper Flame and June Smash and Flash, is that the only time these two have played? Um, I've, they might have played at, like, a Xanadu randomly, or they, they've run into each other before. Because I know they've played in, you know, years past. Right, right. But in recent memory, that's the most high-profile set they've played. Okay. And he should oh, down air the up. Yeah, there it is. And now that Judenbug has that lead, I wonder if he's going to play more patient, sit on the lead, force Hyper to approach more so. It's it's difficult. You don't even want Hyper to approach because even that can be scary as Lucas. You want to just kind of mix up your projectiles and keep Hyper on his toes because the again, it's if Hyper gets that single hit, that's when you start to really struggle. And there we go, mixing oh. him up and messing it, messing up a roll there. That's why you saw that F smash. These two also played at Lotio City 4, June 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember watching that set now. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's good. Gets him with weak hit of up smash. Oh, sorry. There we go. Now back in that neutral game, he gets him with dash attack. No follow-up on the platform. I thought he actually read that tech in place. Nah, no, it's not quite that great. Oh, pops him up somehow. He's gonna get the fair yes. kill, but Junebug's still with a huge stock lead. I, I've noticed sometimes Hyper Flame combos are super on point, but sometimes he hesitates a little too much. Oh no, that's death. Not quite, yeah. He's just gonna go out there and hit him. Oh, but then he messes up! I don't believe no, it! Okay! June, you know, June um, plays against me a lot, and I guess he missed. Un he underestimated the timing of Lucas's up B versus why? Ness's up B. So he went out and just tried to back air something he couldn't. So how good is Lucas with the banana? Does banana? He's as good as any character yeah. with a banana. And he gets him with the with combo, and smash. again, Hyper Flame has brought it back a full stack. All right, so not only were both of those comebacks, not only were both of those comebacks with a Smashville platform, they were comebacks with the Smashville platform on the left side. Yep. With an F Smash read roll. Absolutely. Oh, my God. And Hyper Flame has a chance to just 3-0 Junebug out of this tournament. Well. Oh, that should be... Oh, good stuff by Hyper Flame. Saving his jump very late, not falling for the dash attack cheese. And something we're seeing Hyper Flame do in these combos is he's actually wiggling out of tumble at, like, really weird percents. So Junebug's expecting him to get floored, and then Hyper Flame is just on his feet, and he walks away. Okay. <laughs> Hyper Flame going for his own cheese, mm -hmm. and he's going to get fared for his troubles. Can he make this back? Forced to go yeah. high, but Junebug misreads the, the that's, angle. That's like the most classic Smash mix-up. When you're recovering, do I go on the platform, or am I going towards the stage? It's Absolutely. Ah, uh, too early. <laughs> he fished for that. That deck is so hard. There was no chance in a lifetime that was going to connect. And now we got oh, the combo man. upward. Yeah, that Diddy can do on Lucas. Once again, it's that semi-fastballer. Flare. Oh, what? He messed up. Oh, but he texts, so he's fine. But all he had to do was fair, and, and that combo was over. He would have been up a whole stock. Instead, now it's dead even game. Well, not dead even. It's at 108%, man. But, you know, Lucas has such crazy damage, and Hyper's combos are just so crazy. Uh, Good stuff, though. Good stuff. Hyper Flame panicking a little bit on that recovery. Eats an F-Smash. Junebug now up a stock. But, you know, this actually is a much lesser lead than he had uh, either of the two games. And Hyper Flame took both of those. Yeah. Did, did Junebug SD game one or just game two? I don't, okay. Oh, so the barrels don't do hit stun. They only do damage. That's how they're... Okay. Because I knew they changed something about that. Ooh, down throw to... Uh, down throw. Pretty interesting combo from Junebug. Down throw more of a forced tech chase throw than a combo throw. And that was a really good edge guard by Hyper Flame. Going down there with the magnet and using it to stage spike Junebug. Now Junebug had anticipated it before and he got the tech, so I guess he just missed the tech this time. And this is just the Hyper Flame classic. Get one hit, do tons of damage. Junebug has him in a good situation though. Oh my goodness. 
Neither of them expected to power shield that banana. Well, he's gotten so much off jab reset into charge smash too, because when he has offense up, when Lucas charges like that, that increases the strength of all his smashes. Didn't even need it on that one. Yeah, down air to up smash. Classic. Classic yeah, Lucas. That's Lucas. Day one Lucas stuff. And now it is... It is oh, it, all right, there we go. Dead even for one stock. But Hyper Flame, all it takes is one hit, and he has just eliminated Junebug in this tournament. 3-0. Yeah. And he's already got the hit, and the banana is his. June turns it around, though. Here's the up throw. Let's see what the combo. Nothing. Snack. <laughs> yeah, the snack. Snack. Oh. There we go. Up tilts. Up air. He misses the second up air. And so their double jump, not only letting them double jump cancel like uh, Melee Yoshi, also lets them do rising aerials, which we see a lot from Hyper Flame for combos. Because that arc, their double jump uh, travels, lets them do really weird hitboxes and really Absolutely. cool places. Yeah, Lucas definitely has a lot of unique aspects about yeah. him that make him such an interesting combo character. He's got the flame. banana out of shield. Oh, oh God, he, that would have been so sick. He misses the last hit. That would have actually ended that, the set. That would absolutely have been it. I wouldn't be surprised if Junebug actually SDI that. And we see up throw. He misses the fair. Jeez. Uh, one grab and he can just up throw. And Junebug looking for down tilt to fair combo. Up smash oh, out of shield, not no, going to kill. Lucas is a fast faller. Why did he do that? Oh well, no, they're just missing everything and he badly DI. Oh, Why would no. you DI on that down throw? And Hyperflame like, also laughing it off. These two guys. Do oh, you think man. the smash throw platform moving Diddy helped with that combo? It definitely could have helped, but if he DI'd it out like he should have, it wouldn't have been as obvious. He definitely yeah. DI'd that in. So we're going to game three. Hyperflame counterpicking to Pokemon Stadium now. I guess he likes the height of these platforms. Oh, he went for that back air spike finisher, but not quite. Yeah, Junebug DI'd it perfectly. He didn't DI that well at all. And the winner of this will be playing Lod's Peach. Yep. And uh, both of these guys have lost a lot in this tournament so far. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Wow. Junebug lost to him in uh, semis. winner's semis and... Uh, Hyper Flame and, uh, Coral. And, and I'm sorry. Yeah, June lost to him in winner's semis, Hyper Flame and winner's quarters. And I mean, this is Evo ending up just being a MDVA tournament. Yeah. That S Smash still not enough to kill. Gets a second S Smash, still no jump on Hyper Flame. He didn't actually land there. And Junebug misses the timing on the punish. And that'll be a That's dead Junebug. Yeah. yeah, Lucas is down there. Such a versatile combo tool. It pretty much will always lead into something in a hyper sense. Almost always with that up smash kill. Uh, right now, Junebug taking control of the banana. Keeping center stage with it, but he lost center stage. And that's that's the hard part, right? Lucas is so quick, and Magnet is so good as an approach tool that no matter how hard you try to control space, he can just whoop right in there. Yeah, it's such a solid mix-up in neutral because of the fact that the hitbox, the strong part of the hitbox doesn't come out until you jump away. So if you come up and you just put the Magnet on someone's shield, you can hold it there until maybe they drop shield and then you let it go. So the mix-up there is really strong. And yep, up throw fair. So was that bad DI or was that more Yeah, like bad guaranteed? DI. Okay. It's it's rough though. Up throw for Diddy Kong just works as a follow-up on semi fast fallers. Okay. If he DI's in, he ends up getting nared anyway and he pops straight up. Gets him with the cheese. Not enough, but he's out of a jump and a Oh! He just has to hold this edge. And that'll do that it. Was Good crazy. stuff to Junebug. June's like, hey hyper, you know they call me the best, right? <laughs> Are you aware? Do you know? Do you says, know who I am? He says, hey, Hyper, you're only number five on RPR, man. Like, you need to you need to back off. I'm number one. And he hits him with the Mechos. <laughs> well, you never heard that? I've never heard that. All right, so Magnet to Sweet Spot Bear. It does actually kill off the corner. All right, this is going to be rough, though. Getting two stocks on June is... Well, I guess he did it before, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's that's just the Lucas thing. Lucas gets one hit, man. I've been saying this all set. Lucas gets one hit. That should be a stock on just about everyone. Especially someone easy to combo like Diddy. That's what's fun about this matchup. Both of these characters are that perfect combo weight. Absolutely. Fast, but not too fast. That was supposed to be a Dacus from Hyperflame, yeah. and I wouldn't be surprised if it actually had connected. But the up air off the side, 
Hyperflame has used his double jump, now using his tether. Oh, interesting choice from Junebug. I guess realizing he has a stock, not really in a hurry to finish it. Yeah, that banana at the ledge, you meant to wave land on it. Uh, you can't pick up items in PM by wave dashing or wave landing over them. But he missed it. Oh, oh catches dude. him with the thrown peanut. And now it's going to be... Oh my god, he's desperately looking for a way to finish this stock. That, uh, that'll work. All Invisible, right. er, invincible ledge through the PK Thunder uh, trick that Hyperflame likes to do. I think they're talking about it right now. Yeah. I'm actually surprised. I feel like Junebug has forgotten that Diddy Kong's down smash exists. He hasn't used it to kill ever. He keeps going for down tilt fair mm -hmm. or just some like general combo to death when he can just like down smash at high percent and it's free. Looks like we're thinking about Green Hill or Wario. What did he ban? Is that FD? Yeah. Ah, okay, that's a smart ban. Yeah, cannot yeah. give. Honestly, can't give either of these characters FD. But here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Junebug has won two straight. Can he make it three? in these losers, uh, loser semis. Oh right, when they played at Low Tier City 4, remember they uh, did a Wolf Ditto game 4? Yeah, And then that right. brought, they brought the score even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they're not Wolf Ditto yes, in here. Yes, this is Evo, dude. There's Prestige. There's the ability to say, I won Evo. Absolutely. All right, nothing out of up throw. Junebug never reacts to people who DI away from up throw. He just assumes they're gonna DI in due to the fact that he has that down throw uh, to threaten people with. Yeah, and I feel like that's a much bigger thing in PM than Melee, are DI mix-ups on throws. Oh, that exists in Melee. Mark, It's yeah. just, uh... Many it, more. A lot of, yeah, a lot more characters that, Leon, you, know, you have to be worried about in this game. Hey, right, he goes for back throw this time. Yep. Yeah, that was a pretty obvious air dodge from Hyper. I'm surprised June didn't cover it. Uh... Does a character have any more in lag if they put out their Zare rather than just landing empty? You don't know? Okay. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's very minimal, which is why Zares are so good from a lot of characters, especially Lucas. Oh, it's not great. Oh, but jeez, that that get up from ledge was so <laughs> impressive. Yo, the fair to mag turnaround spike. So sick. Hyperflame continuing to just be the best at his character. Yep. And a great magnet stall to help him stay alive in that situation. As Junebug is definitely fishing for these low percentage kills and Hyperflame has yet to give him one. Hey, you know, for what's worth, every stock I feel like of Hyperflames has been fought out. I don't think he's really gotten any gimps. No, exactly. Nice combo into S-Smash. Has him in an edge guard situation. Look at the double jump cancels on the platform. Oh, and the one direction that that didn't cover. June saw it coming from a mile away. Force the land on the stage. And that's interesting. He's mixing up his um, tether punishes, probably to confuse Hyperflame's DI, because a lot of times he's gone for the reverse up air. Yep. But that time he went just for a spike. It's it's more just based on um, how... Oh, that's not good. It's more just... Really? On, yeah. Really? Yeah, that's a thing. Huh. Junebug's just not really sure, like, if he can punish on stage. But the times Hyper makes it really obvious, Junebug almost always wants to go for down air because of how much more hit stun it, it gives. Oh, look at this combo. He's still following up. He's still going. Hyperflame going for the magnet. And nothing after that. And now it's June's turn. Oh, that was a little late. He tried to react to it instead of read it. Oh, no! Oh, I thought June was dead. It's so tense between these guys right now. Both of them at high percent. One good hit could spell the end of either of them. June forced to recover on stage. Hyperflame gets the grab. That's Will it. it kill? No, come on, man. What the heck? Hey, man, there's a huge what ceiling. The heck? And Diddy falls pretty oh fast. Oh, my God. And he finally uses oh, down smash for the first no. time this whole set. <laughs> I'm so glad I brought I that up. I cannot believe that did not kill. Yeah, dude. Welcome. Hey, if, you're, if you fall fast, uh, Lucas's up throw is almost entirely based on your fall speed. So if you have any amount of uh, speed on your fall, especially on a stage with this highest ceiling. Oh, no, not like this. And yeah, Hyperflame okay. does save his tether, so he's able to get back. Why no up back throw, throw, I don't know, no. but I guess that's why. Um, Lucas's back throw is actually one of the strongest horizontal throws in the game. You just don't see it much because his up throw is like the strongest vertical move in the game. So, you know. The more you know, man. The more you know.
and Hyper Flame now. Can he do the Hyper Flame stock? He's going for grabs. Gets the follow up on the platform. He's still going. He's trying. God help him. He's trying. And June drops off that ledge early, so Hyper Flame is safe. They're back in neutral, but Junebug has the hits. 111. Oh, that's oh. it! That is it! Did he know? I think he knew. June says he had no idea. That's insane. He drops the banana, and it clanks with the PK Thunder. He definitely, head. near the end, he was doing that up beat super high every time, and he just... Honestly, June should have started to, like, nair that PK Thunder or something. Because when all you have to do is clank with that PK Thunder, and that's a dead Lucas. And that's something that Ness players like to do in the Ness Ditto. If you send out your PK Thunder while they're PK Thundering, the two PK Thunders clank, and the Ness just dies. And it's something Lucas can do to Ness as well. So if uh, if the, the difference is with Lucas, normally PK...